But without further ado, let us jump in to Cathedral from Sheepdog. Like I said, it's a two out of 10, it says. Uh, the map changes your field of view. If you don't like it, you can open console and enter C underscore FOV 90 to change it back to normal. Uh, things, uh, things to know. Angled lasers are not part of the solution. No cube throwing, no difficult jumps, no faith plate. The, oh, sorry, the faith plate is anti-trapping. Tested by Steam Stream, the main inspiration was Sagradia Familia. Interesting. And it was a competition map. The theme was to make the map spooky. Spooky. So, uh, yeah, it certainly looks a bit spooky, doesn't it? I'll be honest. That thumbnail uh, alludes to it, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on. Let's crack on. Let's see. Wow, that that's that is pretty spooky. I'll be honest. That kind of looks like an evil face. Not really sure why I'd want to do that. Uh, anyway, let's see, we've got, got some goo down here. I guess the map that we saw, um, yeah, I, know, I I think we're just late for Halloween. <laughs> we're always late to the party. Um, I guess this is like a little bit of that map uh, we played not so long ago. We played the other one, didn't we? Um, and it was just like an aesthetic map. And I'm seeing a lot of those sort of aesthetics um, in this one, which is uh, pretty nice. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but it was pretty sure it was going to happen. Also, weren't we just listening to this song on the intro? Pretty sure we were. What are the odds? Okay. That can do that and that. Which is pretty darn interesting. The drama, though, is it's a pretty good choice of song, I'll be honest, because uh, it's uh, pretty darn dramatic, you got to admit. All right, well, I don't think that's the right thing to do at the minute. What we can do from here, though, is we can jump through here. And do what? So from here, we could open that up, actually. Then we could possibly shoot in there. Um, that will get us across to this other side, like this. But we're going to want to bring the cube, because we're going to use this cube to step up here at least. So that just returns us. Obviously, we can't bring the cube up here and through here, which is interesting. So, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get the cube. I mean, I guess we could use the... Okay, I guess we could do this. Swap the portal onto this one. But I would want to get down here while I was over here, right? Hmm. That's interesting. Yo, crazy! What's going on? What's going on? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, we could do this. Which is fantastic. 
Oh, okay. I think I see what I might need to do here. It sure is. It's a pretty spooky map. Pretty spooky. So I'm guessing, yep, yeah, this will intersect this. So we could do something like this. Run right, back at Tad. Then we're going to walk over here. Let's grab a save there. I was a bit nervous seeing Sheepdog um, when we, like, the first chamber of the night, but uh, actually I don't think this one is going to be too bad. Okay, and then we do this. No, Pog Champ Diamond. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. So then we are going to do that. Now, this is the interesting part because we, again, maybe I've done that wrong. We can actually get down to here, I think. Possibly not. Oh, we've already we we we. Yeah, that that wasn't the right move, was it? Uh, we've already done the isotope grind, Pog Champ. <laughs> we have already done the isotope grind for our sins. Um. All right, so I thought that would that would do that and that, but um, I think it took me. I think it took me about three or four solid streams. So I think we was looking at like between nine and twelve hours on it. But yeah, man, it was it was. It was something. What's going on, Kruger? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Okay, I wonder, actually. Maybe I've, I've done this, gone about this the wrong way. I'm used to doing this. Uh, oh, I may have just messed the cube up, but... No, I haven't messed the cube up. So then, from here, I would do that. Go through the portal. Fire that there. Then fire it there. Take the cube. Now, all I need... He says, all he needs is the light bridge, right? So, light bridge, we're going to get that by doing this and this. We will portal over to there, across to here. Um, we're actually going to want to go across to here, aren't we? Um, there is an interesting, there is a very, I uh, say interesting, it's like a documentary style video that Mike actually did um, on his YouTube channel covering like the, I think it's about 45 minutes long. It's a really interesting watch of how him and Leo actually came up with the whole idea for Isotope. Um, very interesting watch indeed, like seeing how they're thought processes and everything and how the map developed as a whole. You did see it, yeah. And there we go. That wasn't too bad. It was a spooky map, though. And, um, I have to say, fantastic choice of music. Very, um, kind of spooky track. Weird that we was actually listening to that one, um, in the intro as well. Which was, uh, quite mad. But, yeah. Fantastic stuff. Next! Oh, okay, we're going to people that we don't really recognise. My boy, Pete! With the uh, sorry, map boy Pete, not my boy. With the depths of aperture, like it might be a hammer map. 
All right. This map contains small puzzles. There are no test chambers. If what you're after is difficult puzzles, this isn't the map for you. Okay, well, that's fine. This test was meant to last two hours. What? A quick, deep sleep to test some new hibernation technology. You awake to the sound of crashing metal in the part of the facility you don't recognize. Your only hope of escape is to navigate the facility searching for help or a way out. Good luck. I'm hoping like the test was meant to last two hours was actually um, is actually part of the law. Um, and the test isn't actually meant to last two hours. But um, favorited by Ace and Crazy. What's going on, Kana? How you doing? Welcome. Hope you are doing well. Like a nice hammer map. <laughs> it caused you to lose focus. Hope you weren't doing anything uh, too important then. Alright, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And some nice looking uh, hammer work. Sure. Looks familiar. Okay, I'm guessing all that is disabled. I'll go through there. Let's go down into the depths. Ah, uh, you favored it, crazy, so. I'm pretty sure you have seen this one before. <laughs> hey, there's our portal gun. Mono portal. Interesting. The Abyss Gaze is back. Hoopy. It's a copy. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know that map, um, Pog Champ. So I mean, if you got a link to the map, might be worth uh, having a ganders. Okay, so your power just went out. Well. So like crazy, thanks as always for stopping by and saying hi, I appreciate it. Interesting. I'll have to uh I'll have to have a look for that uh that original map. I'll see if I can find it once we're uh, once we go through this and we'll take a look. the traditional your portal got stuck that's oh, why your door got stuck all right we're on the other side now we could jump down there looks like we might want to however I kind of feel before we jump down we should maybe be getting a second <clears throat> Excuse me. Another, another portal gun, maybe to do some flinging. I don't know. I'll keep that in mind. The vitrified door is shut. Train tracks. Well, they're not on the wall. Hmm. 
There's lots of ball surfaces. But not really a lot that I can actually do anything with, which is interesting. Although there is a there is a switch there. Who made this? It was made by Matt Boy Pete. There you go, look. Somebody said exactly the same thing. Though I can smell the inspiration from the abyss gazes back. Let's just have a quick look for that a minute. Um, let's have a look. Oh, there's quite a few with there. Uh, The Abyss Gaze is back. I have played it. Yeah, I have played it. I don't recognize it though. It's a shame it doesn't tell you when you played it, but I'm guessing we played this like a long time ago. Given that it's 2016, it's probably why I don't recognize it. But. Okay. Reply, have we got a, a comment and a video on here? No, I'm getting distracted. Apologize. Yeah, it's probably before I made a conscious effort of um, leaving comments actually on maps. But yeah, no, we have played it, so yeah. Mr. Galace, you are being spoken to, my friend. Alright, so we did that, we did that. Now, I'm guessing we can go back up to the top somehow. Because we're going to want to get some height, right? So now we can use this. I probably could have shortcut that whole thing by firing a pole up there, but hey ho. Excellent. You saw your name mentioned. You're being spoken about. Got an array of. 1970s supercomputers going on there. Hmm. This seems familiar, actually. That seems a bit familiar. be broke. I know it doesn't happen very often, but I always kind of want to see if I can climb up a ladder. It's got a bit of a transition here from port 1 and port 2. Yikes. The map lied to me. The map done did lied. How rude. Is 
seems like the whole premise of the map though is like to go backwards and forwards a lot. But not like somewhere else I can shoot a portal here. Because I can't travel back through that fizzler. Fizzler. Hmm. Did I miss something? Well, there's no going back, that's for sure. Oh, warning to headphone users, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, there's a... a duh. That may be something of use. I'd say there had to be like a... a mono portal there somewhere. But... Okay, how am I going to get... Oh, there's one over here. Oh, the whole surf there's a whole wall here of portal surfaces. There we go. Fantastic. What's we got in here? Not much. There's a lot of there's a lot of I, mean, I don't know how much has been ripped. Like I say, it's been a long time since I played that map in that map in question, but there's a lot of detail and there's a lot of little like sub rooms and things going off here which is quite interesting. Yo Rector Rocks, how you doing? May I just say as well. New logos. Quite nice. Like them. Like them. Been doing any more, uh, doing any more rage streams lately? Rage co-op streams. Ah. Uh. Right, I guess I'll do that here. Look at the funnel. Let's use the funnel, of course. Hands a bit too shiny for my likings. No worries, Ace. No worries at all. I'm pretty sure, though, from what I was looking at on the um, the map page, though, the, the original map was um, oh, you know what? I reckon. Yeah, I r recognize this bit for sure. Whoa. Can I like, at least like get through here, please? Thank you. I remember dropping like down between some fans at some point. Yeah. I'm pretty sure when I played the when I played that other map I did turn in to catch up on multiple occasions. So 
I mean, this was more of an exploration map. I'm pretty sure the original actually had puzzles. Um, if it's very, like I said, I, I, I haven't played that for like some years. So if it's like a, if it's like the same map, I kind of feel like they've just ripped out the puzzle maybe and just left all like the BTS exploration bits in there. But I kind of agree with what people were saying in the, um, in the comments when we looked at the comments briefly that um, if it is based on that, then it's okay, but at least give some reference and recognition to the original map. Um, I think most map makers, you know, would appreciate um, if you do use their ideas or their aspects of their map, just to give them a little nod. Um, you know, it, I think even the community as a whole, even if it's not your stuff, they just appreciate it when you do reference and um site as um as you should do anyway moving on this one is blue shift and it is from sam fizz not seen sam for a while not been around um but this is a five out of ten strategically positioned panels light bridges and gel bombs to make your way through this puzzling sequence of chambers hope you're not afraid of heights the test may hold a secret can you find it it's a it contains Troubled Water by Harry Callahan, Hall Callahan from Paul Stories Mel. It's made with B. And uh, feedback's appreciated. Let me know if you find any exploits or enjoy it. And Deathwish and Team Spend have both given it the royal seal of approval. So, uh, yeah. It says this next test was designed That's by just like a regular stream. Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Right, well, so. I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Let's get some bouncing going on. Right. Cube acquired. Alright, so that's a permanent. So maybe we get another gel bomb there. Now, of course, we're not going to be able to do that because we're not high enough. Therefore, we're going to need to... Maybe we're going to need to do some... Bouncing off the sides here. I'm not sure what that would achieve, though. I'm trying to think where is grated and where is not grated here. Yeah, okay, so we can't interact with that. I just wanted to check that. I didn't know whether that would be... I thought that would be the case. But I wanted to make... Like, double check. I mean, I could do something like... This, but... I kind of feel like this would be... Possibly a little bit cheap. I have a better way of doing stuff here, though. Yeah, okay, so we could maybe do something like this. Possibly. That would be even better. Maybe we could do something like this. Oh yeah. We can do we can totally do something like this. Alright, so then we do that. That maybe? Hmm no, we'd need it to come out there. Alright, let's think about this. Hmm. 
No, that was too soon. doesn't sort of give too kindly to that though does it if it was the other way around it would so yeah maybe if we did that instead all right let's try that then that there that there go through portal portal onto there that onto there. Okay. We're up. Now what? Now what are we doing? Yo, Mika's here. What's going on, Mika? Welcome, welcome. You only have 15 minutes. No worries, buddy. No worries. Good to see you. Alright, what are we going to do from here? Apart from like falling down. Deathwish in the house as well. What's going on, Deathwish? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so. Is the purpose of this just to get some gel in places, maybe? Ah, the saunas are waiting. Okay, so we could do that. That's fine. And we could also do this. No saving when Dr. John Lightbridge doesn't really do anything, but... Okay. We're out the first room. I don't know how many rooms there were in total, but so far so good. Pretty straightforward second room. Interesting details there. Sauna is uh, Mika's finish, and uh, sauna is a bit of a Finnish tradition. wonder if we want to we maybe want to put that across there actually hmm. okay so the majority of these locations here don't offer us too much Kind of want to want some gel. This location here, though, aren't we? I would say. We're going to work better actually if we put that on there, then we can control the gel by ourselves rather than doing it the other way around. So, leave everything there. We're now able to bounce up here. Did you make anything good, though, Arbiter? That's that's the big question. Did you make anything good? And also, where's ours? I hope you made snacks for everybody. <laughs> What's going on? Yo, 
Yeah, but uh, the notification did go out at least, I suppose. It's something, right? It was better than last night's attempt. Okay, there's two things there. I was like, okay, why isn't that working? I got pinged. I got pinged. I, I don't think it's on my notification anymore because I looked at it. But yeah, I got pinged. Don't know why. Ham and cheese croissants. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so I'm thinking here we could potentially be doing some bouncing between here and here. And then there's a way to disable that light bridge. Because then we can maybe do a bounce off this side and that side. Again, just sort of thinking out loud here. So what if we did something... I mean, we could we could paint that now actually. That's not a an issue, is it? Again, the only thing obviously I'm aware that if we Yeah, we need to paint that side though as well for that to work properly. So yeah, I think we need to disable the light bridge, send gel on this wall, and then we're going to bounce sort of like over here and between that to gain the height to get up to the exit, which is fine. We need to work out, though, how we are going to generate enough... We need to use that to generate height into there, don't we? How do we even get into that section? Is that... Hold on. No, oh, the stairs there. No, no, I don't take a lot, but I'm so confused. Mies are confused, and Mies are probably dead. Oh! Oh, that's how we do it. So, yeah, we need to now... Okay, so now we'd need to juggle. We need to get rid of that, don't we? Okay. So, is that possible from here? Okay. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, that could work. That could work. Till I make a joy the sauna.
You didn't say nothing. I'm telling you. Yeah, I didn't say nothing. Hmm. Oh, maybe there's a better place to juggle this. Hmm. Maybe. Gotta be a better way to do this. The question is how. Without cheesing, because cheese is never the answer. Unless it's a mature Stilton. Oh, yes. I was going to say, like, maybe... I was going to say, was um, painting that the wrong thing to do, but we need to paint that to be able to get into that area up there, don't we? Oh, well, yeah, that's a... That's a thing that happens, isn't it? Just when you don't pay attention to where your portals are set up. How could I forget that one? You know what, having that on the wall does not help at all. And of course, I want to get through it. The blob just disintegrated. I understand why I'm getting yeeted out though, that's the main thing I suppose. Can I get gel anywhere else that would, like, maybe help me to jump over? I think the answer is no. Hmm. On my shoes? Well, yeah, there is that. There is that. Maybe that's a new mod. We've had Aperture Tag. Now we can have Aperture Boots. i got to stop doing that because... There's got to be a, a, an easier and more consistent way to doing this.
<laughs> Think aperture tag, but instead of having the gun, you just activate your boots to have different abilities. Just like to point out, I came up with this idea first. If I see any used lot doing it on the workshop, I am going to sue you. Yeah, I'm... This ain't happening. Alright, stop trying to do what's not working. Think about what could work. Oh, we got Pick Pick and we got Coco here. What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're both well. Alright, that goes nowhere. That is the road to nowhere. You're just dabbing in and out. Oh, you're just dabbing in and whatnot. Sorry. We could use the light bridge. I love it when the light bridge just randomly decide the, the the gel bombs just randomly decide to like change course and um, end up completely ran in a random lo location. It's great. Alright, I don't wanna I don't wanna seem stupid here. Alright. That's good. Okay, I see what I need to do. 
I need to go back to what we learned in the very first room. Also, man, that grating did like weird things to my trajectory there. All right. I call that progress. Don't know why I'm saving again, because again, gel on a light bridge does not persist over saves. And right, now I can save. That's going to make things loads easier, isn't it? I should do. Right, so then I can do this. Okay. So we still have that. Now from here. Respawn that. We're going to want to bling up to there. So I guess we're going to want to do this. Oh, we didn't respawn this cube. Uh, well, it is technically a cube, it's an edge of safety cube, according to game law. Okay, so then we're going to go through here. Yeah. I'm also going to need to jump out of here. That, however, is not going to give me enough velocity. Alright, but I do have another cube, don't I? I also... Ah, oh, dum. Dum, da dum, dum, dum. No. Dumb moment there. We could just do this. Then we can just walk over here. Do that. Take the other cube with us. Just gonna pick it up to save me going through because I'm lazy like that. Okay. Welcome back, Ace. How you doing? See, the interesting thing here, though, is... With this setup here... I feel like I would need another cube. Well, that's clearly not the case. Yep. 
Because I'm going to need gel over there, aren't I? But... The issue I'm seeing is... Well, unless I can juggle gel. I can juggle gel. Yeah, we can juggle gel. Okay. Let's juggle gel. Juggle, juggle. That's what we're going to do. We're going to juggle the gel. Juggle, juggle. Game, I tell ya. Okay. Hopefully. That's not right, is it? He ain't killing Deathwish. Alright, let's go back a minute. I think I just gotta put it on the floor. Save us from walking back because I'm lazy in the and all. Okay. Yes, that was correct. Excellent. Interesting. No, you're correct. I don't need the cube. But... I was going to say, how do I get this, but I dare say. Oh, really? I <sighs> hate it when you get like gel on the walls and it just flings you where you don't want to go. There we go. Okay. I think that's progress. Who needs music anyway? So now we've got to think about.
Rip. Get that on there. Yeah, okay. So now we do the gel. So we're going to respawn this one. Like so. Isn't there a command to start the music again? Okay, so we do that, we do that, we do that, and we do that. Interestingly though, we do have a bit of a problem here, because, oh no we don't, no we don't, no 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 no, well, I say no. No, the graying is not the issue. The issue is getting this cube back here to get the light bridge back. But if we do something clever like this, then I'm not going to save because like I keep saying there is no point in saving when you I've got gel on a light bridge that opens the door and hopefully hopefully we're just going to do this and we're out excellent Impressive. Excellent. I like the fact that like the first two chambers teach you the mechanics for the second. Um, it's always a good sign that um, um, the map maker knows what they're doing. But yeah, good stuff, Sam. All right. Time to go crazy once again. Hopefully not like last night, but this is Dripple. From Seven Silhouette. Probably a puzzle for experienced players. Oh dear God. No ninja moves, air strafing, hard to reach cubes, ex or exploits of any kind in position. However, it's important to feel comfortable controlling your character while navigating this chamber. The map is on the larger size, mainly for aesthetics. I attempted to imitate the feel and look of the enrichment sphere from the story. Lots of open space, separate platforms requiring the use of portals to travel to. Overall, feels more like an obstacle course rather than efficiently designed test chamber. Also, these two cool guys keep helping my, my, me test my maps. I won't call them cool guys if they're helping you test your maps, because, uh, yeah. Self-proclaimed cool guys. Man, they must have some big heads. They have to deal with the unpolished versions. So I consider them sending them some love in the form of thumbs up for Chad and Deathwish. Uh, puzzle is centered around a single move, meaning it's rather hard to judge its difficulty. If it comes quickly to you, it'll seem very easy since there's nothing else to it. If you can figure it out, It'll, if you can't figure it out, it'll seem impossible as no progress is being made. Hopefully it makes you think a bit. Go back to English, yeah. Uh, all right, so. It's centered round a single maneuver, apparently. A single move, maneuver from the 50s. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's 
behind glass. Kind of trying to take it all in at the minute. don't think there's anything on the other side of that, so it's probably not a good thing to try and investigate over there at the minute. And there's a cube spawn. Yeah, that's what I thought, Deathwish. That's what I thought. Is that a... I guess that's not a portal surface to play with. Alright, so that just looks like it's for cube retrieval. That was almost death. Big yikes. Okay, so... Try and think about this methodically. We've got to get ourselves over to there, right? How might we do that? Well, we could do something crazy. Might get stuck on the back of these panels. I'm sure that's what Seven Silhouette uh, intended, right? You would need a bit more height to get through there. Something a bit like that. I don't even know if we can get through here, but we'll give it a go. Okay. We can, and we did. And we got a cube. Excellent. So, why can I not bounce off this? All right, there is. We got over here, but are we trapped? Gut instinct says yes. Because I don't see a way to get off here. Unless we can get some more gel. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Nope, not there. 
Not there. There. Okay. Save again. Gotta be careful here, so as not to respawn. That cube. Okay. What's the deal from here? Oh, hello. Companion cube stops the gel. Could be important. I'm guessing that's the companion cube spawning. Yeah, okay. So that's how we respawn the companion cube. So, thinking to the next stages, most maps have some form of, most good maps, have some form of cube respawn, right? So, if we do though. Did I miss something that was... Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm not sure I needed to respawn that cube, if I'm honest. Hmm. <laughs> Just going to reload the save quickly. I just want to check something before I drop this cube down. Yeah, I can drop down there. Hmm. What has to be done? Um. Oh, I bet it hit the button again, didn't it? That was unfortunate. Alright, so. Platform. And the platform requires a cube. Interesting.
So all we need to exit. Yeah, it is. Okay. So there, Ace. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. here as to what we can see, aren't we? We can't see that area over there. Alright, well let's maybe not worry too much about that at the moment. I mean, granted, it's important, that step. Granted, we can't see that from anywhere else. So, how do we do this? We can't jump over there. not happening. There's no way to, like, for me to stand on the button and to fling the cube through because there's no... There's no um, portal surface on the floor I can utilize for that. Now, I could potentially drop down here. Ramifications of that, however, are that I can no longer do stuff. Mm 
Dropping down there kills that. So that's not the answer. Pull that portal back there, because that's where it would have been. Grating on the floor, I think it is, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Hmm? Well, I can't see that anything else but this is progress at the moment. Is there a way that we can respawn that cube at all? I don't think there is, is there? In that case... Is the cube swap a red herring? Is the cube swap a red herring? So let's just... Let's just think about this for a moment. So we do that. Drop down here, go through here. Switch the portal up to here. But then I don't know where we would go from here. That's the problem. Yeah, that wouldn't feel right anyway, even if that was... The gel was high there. So when you bounce off gel, it gives you... It does propel you upwards a little bit. If there was gel a little bit higher here, perhaps, maybe that would work. But it just seems such a finicky move. Do you know something else that I've just thought of there as well? Right. So I'm putting a cube on there. Well, I suppose we can just do that though. I was thinking like how do we actually get rid of the cube? But we can just pull it off there. So we don't need to worry about that. Is there a way? Hmm. 
No. Forget that. I'm just trying to think though, like if we if we did swap the cubes. Yeah, so that's just been respawned, right? This one is sitting pretty over here, yeah. We we've we've had this. This is where we were before. There is no way I say there is no way. Famous last words, isn't it? See that that's interesting. That set of maneuvers there is interesting. The problem I have problem we have is I almost wonder if we... The, the description said there wasn't any moves like this though, didn't it? I just wondered if you like do something like this and then do like a turn here. But... Yeah, that's... You was able to jump from the first button area to the island and then get yeah well that would only help if we could keep the portal there because then we could just pick up the cube and go ah it slides out I wondered where that was like going to but it slides out. Hold on, right, so... It's not enough to jump over to there. Not gonna have enough to jump over to there. Yo, Dido, what's going on? How you doing? Bring the cube here a minute.
No, we don't want to do that. Well, not a big issue. <laughs> well, congratulations. Congratulations on doing such an amazing job. You should be very proud. This ain't a thing with gel, is it? You're not telling me this is a thing, right? Please tell me it's not a thing with the gel. I'm not sure it would help though. Even if it was a thing with the gel. we'd need to target the bottom queue, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's cause both the cubes to respawn. Probably bounce me back, but it's not what we need to do. doing that, are you? Welcome back, Maker. Hmm. 
villager noises intensify. I don't know if it's... Don't think it's helpful though. The only difference with this doing it, this is... Yeah, I was going to say, the only difference doing that is... It's exactly what I had before. But... I just don't have the gel flowing. Centered around a single move, meaning it's rather hard to judge difficulty. If it comes to you, if it comes quickly to you, it'll seem very, very easy since there's nothing else to it. Oh, I'm going for my haircut tomorrow and I cannot wait. It's been like so long since I had my freaking haircut. Put some background music on. And so uh, we've lost the music in the test chamber. Was all right swapping the cubes, Deathwish. Was all right on the right track, like with this. Just, uh, just so I know. Cup of tea and homemade sourdough bread is a great combination.
All right. I would have to be lower, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna bop my head though. Alright, that's not it. Anywhere else though that I could use that to my advantage? I don't think there is. You know what? That actually wouldn't help me anyway because. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, the reason it wouldn't help me is because instead then. Don't really think this is to be fair, but at least it's portal music, right? Seems like I'm just messing around. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I know. I do this, do this map really. I'm just, you know, just playing. I'm just toying with y'all. I might think about solving it in a minute. Who knows? Yeah, it's the one you don't see very often, Minka. It's the um, it's the one from like the old, the real old style aperture. I'm guessing this would be classed as gel abuse, right? I 
Oh, that's interesting, though. That's something potentially interesting. Okay. Uh, how is it interesting though? be something. Not sure how. Because I would need to get to here for that to work. Wow, that music's quiet. You see, thinking about this now, this is this is all well and good, right? help me because although it would get me a portal in the right place like there and I could get back up to here what what could that actually do What would Deathwish do? He'd probably pull out his shot glass and um, have about five. Go on a massive ramble for about half an hour. Um, and then solve the puzzle in two minutes before having another shot and rambling a little bit more. Well, he, he might do that as well. I, I don't know. Possibly. So, what I'm thinking is... When I got the portal on there... I also need a portal on there.
because we need to sound it would make total sense to respawn the the standard cube with a portal in the right place we can easily get that one back the companion cube however is a bit more This is a bit more of a problem, doesn't it? But. But. There's always a but. Oh, is that what the blue stuff is? Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Alright, well. I guess we'll stop doing that now then. Yeah, it was a long shot. A very long shot.
do we need to do something that we've done plenty of times, but you have to think about it differently. Great. What does that mean? Well, that seems counterproductive to do, if I'm honest. We're not friends anymore, Seven Silhouette. We're not friends. You're a stream killer. That's what I'm going to call you from now on. You're the stream killer. Well, that was fun. Indeed it was. You better believe it. You know what my problem is though there, don't you? It's like I've put far too much gel now on that bottom bit for that even to work. If this doesn't work then, it ain't never working. God damn it. Right, great! We swapped the cubes.
That was epic. <laughs> epic and counterproductive. I'm sure. I mean, you can't fault it for, like, creativeness. Creative cube swapping. And the thing is, we could do this, but then the whole point of, like, doing this, but then... It'd be like, well, what was the point in... What would have been the point of the cube swap though if we did if we did that? The whole purpose of the cube swap would be like absolutely pointless. somehow. What sort of a comment is that? But then I don't have a way...
there a light strip there? No, that is the ball surface. Oh, no, that's not the ball surface. That's the, um... Yeah, it's the signage, not the ball surface. Damn it. Do you know what? I think this is actually worse than the one we did last night because at least with the one last night I could kind of see where my portals needed to be and I actually knew what I was kind of working towards. This one I just don't see anything at all. Yeah, there's no point doing that because that doesn't line up with anything. I wonder if I could get some weird angle. No, I know. But, you know, when you when you kind of don't know what you're doing, your mind starts to wander. It's my excuse, at least.
Oh, I don't know how I just pulled that off. Bit like that. But I mean Yeah, that don't that don't help me with nothing, does it? The only way that would help me is if the gel was turned off. Somebody want to put me out of my misery because honestly, I, I don't. I haven't got a Scooby Doo. All right, so here's, here's potentially something. Oh, I'd like tried this already, but I don't think I have. did this before, I don't see how this helps. This is all stuff we've done before.
want to do that. Christ. Expected. Seriously, guys, I, I'm having a clue. Not a clue. I I have no idea what I can do differently. The only way to open, the only way to get that panel up is to get that off there, and the only way to do that is either with the gel, or what? There's.
this is what I don't understand because I've, I've tried using the cube to move the other cube off the button. Now I don't know if I'm just getting unlucky with that or what. But you hinted that I needed this cube in my possession, which then means I can't use the gel. Because I can't get back up here once that cube's been moved. I can only see this from up here. So... I don't know how I would... No, no, I don't... I, I'm not thinking about juggling. I don't know how I would set it up. But effectively... I mean, that's just screwed everything anyway. Here's the sort of thing I'm thinking. don't know the full logistics of it and I'm probably like properly clutching straws here but what if we had like say something like this Okay.
Well, the only place I could drop it would be here. I'm not sure that would catch. Okay. Okay. Let's just double check that, make sure that wasn't cheese. even better if I don't uh, if I leave that pole in place all right let's go and uh Well, it's not a good time. Seriously. That's... that's evil. <sighs> Fucking asshole. That's... evil. Today's mental breakdown is sponsored once again by Seven Silhouette. Yeet that fucker off to victory. Excuse my language, don't normally swear, but yeah. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna <laughs> Oh man. Killed me once again. Two nights in a row. You have absolutely destroyed me. With some relatively simple maneuvers as well. <sighs> right, I'm going to go and um, find a noose to put around my neck. Thank you very much for hanging out, though, guys. I, um, I appreciate it. Um, we'll be back tomorrow night. And... Um, 
I'll be making sure that we 100% do not have a seven silhouette map to play tomorrow night. But guys, thank you very much for sticking with it once again. I know it's frustrating. It's frustrating for me to play when um, I kind of get stuck in a rut and I don't feel like I can commentate over the top of what I'm doing. And I'm just like sat here going, not the most riveting thing to watch. So I do appreciate everybody for sticking around. But until next time, guys, thank you very much. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Till next time. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.